How's it going guys? I'm Star Jake and I'm here once again with a brand new video. And on this video I'm going to be showcasing all the items that I obtained today at Second and Charles, which is a local store that sells music, video games, and you know stuff like that. Originally I was going to record this in the closet, which is where I mostly record these videos, but since I did a video yesterday in this exact area, I noticed that there's better lighting here, so I'm going to be doing it, you know, in this spot. Also, I do apologize for the glare behind me that is my window so it's it's almost nighttime though so the glare isn't as bad as usual but i am going to be showcasing all the items i'm gonna try to quickly show these because you know i don't want to waste any time here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get straight into this so in a previous video i showcased my new retron 5 and i showcased the controller it's like a wireless controller it apparently has really weird controls so we decided to go out and buy controllers for the original consoles and we picked up a Super Nintendo controller, which this actually works with the NES system and the Game Boy Advance games, so that was kind of shocking. Yeah, it's a Super Nintendo controller. I plan to eventually... I think we have NES controllers already. I'm just not completely sure. I have to look again. Super Nintendo controllers. We got two of them. We got this Super Nintendo game, which is... Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World. This was $40. I'm familiar with Super Mario World. We have a, a copy of that game by itself. But I was not very familiar with All-Stars until we played it. It's basically like a reimagined versions of the original three Super Mario games. Turned out to be pretty cool. I am definitely going to be playing this a lot more. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was cool to see how they updated the graphics on the original three Mario games with this one. But yeah, Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World, Super Nintendo, it's really cool. And we got two games that some people are going to be surprised that I'm showing here in this video. So the first game is... Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed for the Game Boy Advance. I have never played this before. Never even knew it existed until we saw it at the store. I know that back when the Game Boy Advance was still around, there were a lot of movies being made into video games, and it was, uh... I've heard a lot of bad things about them, so that made me a little worried about it, but we ended up getting it, and after playing it, it actually turned out to be better than I expected. It's basically a video game that follows the storyline of the movie, which which I'm sure everyone's already figured that out by now. It turned out to be a really interesting game. We are at the halfway mark on it by now. This turned out to be way better than I had expected. But yeah, that is what it looks like. And the back is scuffed up. Don't have the original box. I just have the game. So that is that. And then we got one more Game Boy Advance game, which is... Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, if you can see that. This is a, a game that a lot of people did not like on the Game Boy Advance, but after playing two full levels, which I've only played two levels of it, I'm enjoying it so far. It's also better than I expected. I have not touched a Game Boy Advance game in a long time, if, in case you can't tell, so both of these games honestly blew away my expectations. I ended up really enjoying them, although I need to play this one more because I have not gotten really anywhere on on it but that is the front of it and that's the back again if you can see it and then well, that's pretty much it for the video games but i also got a really cool vinyl while i was at this place as well i got a copy of good kid mad city by kendrick lamar i saw this the last time i went to second and charles but i did not get it because my eyes were focused on something else i'm gonna do the unboxing in another video so i'm just gonna slightly showcase it that's the front of it and that's the back it's still in the plastic surprisingly only 25 dollars i was expecting this one to be a whole lot more i bought an atmosphere lp not very long ago it was like 30 so kind of surprised i'm assuming the reason it was lower is because it's like slightly opened anyway yeah we got a kendrick lamar vinyl two Game Boy Advance games, a Super Nintendo game, and we got a Super Nintendo controller. All three of these games were bought specifically because we got the Retron 5. I ended up being really surprised with the Game Boy Advance games. They were way better than I expected. I really love the Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World um, Super Nintendo game. It turned out to be really fun. 
and cool. I love Super Mario World, so seeing the updated graphics on the original 3 was really surprising to me. And I thought it was cool that the Super Mario Lost Levels was also included, because that's something I was not expecting to be on it. And we got the Super Nintendo due to the Retron 5 controller not being so great. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all later. Have a great night. I hope you all enjoyed the video.